In this corner, an undisputed horological icon. Clocking in with a 40 millimeter case diameter. Bow to the crown. And welcome Rolex GMT Master Pepsi. And in this corner, all the way from 1979 and back with a vengeance. At 38 millimeters, a retro look with a modern hook. Please welcome Timex Q reissue. Let's get ready to rumble! I'm Brian Sakawa, and you're watching He Spoke Style, where we give you the information and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. One of the things I said in my recent video featuring the Casio A158W that seemed to really resonate with a lot of you is that it's not how expensive a watch is that's important, it's how that watch makes you feel. So in the spirit of that, I thought it would be fun to put two watches head-to-head -head that look very similar but with very different price points. And in this video, we're gonna be comparing the Rolex GMT Master II and the Timex Q reissue. Table of contents for the video. First, we'll take a close look at the Rolex, then the Timex. I'll review some similarities and differences between the watches, and then we'll put them head to head in a variety of categories, including quality, reliability, functionality, comfort, style, and price. Let's get to it. So here is the Rolex GMT Master II. This is the reference 16710. And wanna give a big shout out to Crown & Caliber for loaning me the watch for this video. It's a 40 millimeter steel case on an Oyster bracelet. This model has articulated lugs. It's an automatic movement and the case back is not see-through. Moving on to the dial, we've got a black dial with hour indices all the way around with the exception of three o'clock where you can see the date window magnified by the Cyclops hour, minute, and running seconds hands, and then of course, the red GMT hand. The most distinguishing characteristic of this watch is the bezel and specifically the insert. This is the classic red and blue Pepsi bezel, blue indicating nighttime and red indicating daytime. The bezel rotates both ways and is ringed with 24 hours, which is how you would be able to tell time in two different time zones. On the wrist, this watch wears and feels great. The bracelet is very comfortable. All in all, it's a classic sports watch with an unmistakable look and a great history as well, introduced in 1954 for Pan Am pilots making intercontinental flights. Next, we have a watch that looks very similar to the GMT Master. This is the Timex Q reissue. This is a modern version of a watch that was first introduced in 1979 during the so-called quartz crisis that really forced the mechanical watch industry to kind of reevaluate itself. This watch here has a 38 millimeter stainless steel case and a woven stainless steel bracelet, both of which being 100% true to the original. The case has a brushed appearance on the top and a polished appearance on the side. It is powered by a quartz movement and you can see on the case back where the battery is housed. The dial is blue and the Q above the Timex signature does stand for quartz. Hour indices all the way around except at three o'clock where we've got apertures showing both the day and the date. There's an hour hand, a minute hand, and a red seconds hand. The bezel rotates both ways and is ringed with 12 hour time. Now we do have the blue and red on the bezel, but with the absence of a GMT hand, I'm not sure how useful that is. At 38 millimeters, this watch sits really well on the wrist. I feel like 38 millimeters is really such a sweet spot in terms of size. It's very comfortable, though the bracelet does seem to catch and pull on my arm hair a bit. It feels pretty substantial, which was a little unexpected to me, but definitely a pleasant surprise. Now that we've had an overview of both watches, let's take a look at some of the similarities and differences between the two of them. Starting off with the similarities. Both have a stainless steel case and bracelet. Of course, both have hour, minute, and seconds hands. Both have luminescent hour indices and both have a rotating bezel with the distinctive blue and red coloring. Differences, case size. The Rolex is 40 millimeters and the Timex 38 millimeters. Movement is different as well, Rolex being mechanical and automatic, the Timex quartz. The Rolex has just a date window while the Timex has both the day and the date. There's a GMT hand on the Rolex, not on the Timex. The bezel on the Rolex displays 24 hours, Timex 12 hours. And then the bracelet style, the Rolex having the Oyster bracelet, and the Timex having a woven bracelet. 
However, there is a modification you can do with the Timex bracelet that a few of you picked up on in the Casio video I did. And that is if you take the bracelet from the Casio A158W and put it on the Timex, it actually gives it a much closer resemblance to the Rolex. Now we're going to see how these watches stack up head to head. And our first category is quality. You know, it's kind of hard to objectively compare quality when you're dealing with watches at such disparate price points. Obviously, if you're paying a premium, you expect a certain level of quality, but that doesn't mean that a lower price point watch can't be quality as well. The Timex is certainly quality for what it is. However, the bracelet, in my opinion, takes away from that quality. So in the quality category, point goes to Rolex. Next category is reliability. Although Rolex makes some excellent movements that are superlative chronometer certified, there really is no comparison with a quartz movement when it comes to accuracy and reliability. So point to Timex. Our next category is functionality. Both watches have their own set of jobs that they perform. The Timex has both the day and the date displayed. The Rolex, just the date. However, the Rolex does have the GMT hand, which I feel is more unique and useful. So I'm going to go point to Rolex in the functionality category. Now we're gonna talk about comfort. Both watches feel great on the wrist. However, again, the bracelet on the Timex does tend to pull on my hair. So Rolex comes out on top here in terms of comfort, point to Rolex. Next category is style. From a distance, you know, these watches look so similar, especially if you do the bracelet modification I suggested on the Timex. The Rolex is, of course, the original, but the Timex has some great retro style. So no clear winner here. We're gonna give a point to both. Final category is price. The Rolex GMT Master II that I have here, the reference 16710, you can currently find at twelve dollars to $15,000. The Timex retails for $179. No contest on price, point to Timex. Now you can see in my rating that Rolex did come out slightly on top, but that in no way diminishes the incredible value that the Timex Q reissue offers. So if a Rolex GMT Master II really isn't in your price range, but you like the look, I think the Timex is a great alternative. However, I would highly recommend the Casio A158W bracelet modification, both from a comfort standpoint, as well as a style standpoint. The Casio is only a $19 watch and it's a pretty cool watch itself, so much so that it has earned a permanent place in my watch collection. If you're new and wanna check out my collection as well as some deeper dives into specific watches I own or have owned and the stories behind them, click on that playlist right over there.